What's up, YouTube? KK Jinx here, playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today, we are doing the Champion's Ballad, Ravali song. But before we dive in, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell square in the face to get notified about any future content. Okay, and now that you've finished with that, let's get right into it. So, as you can see, we are near Rito Village. And if you look on the map, we have the EX, the Champion's Ballad, selected. And so it is showing us where we need to go. So that is where we are headed. As you can see, we've got the three pillars with the pictures and cast down here. Let's go talk to him. I applaud your courage in coming here. The locations that will be revealed to you are the trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. And now you can look at these pictures and it'll show you where you want to go. You can just compare it on the map. But I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly where they're at. Did that stone monument just start glowing? I suppose that proves I didn't imagine it the first time. How long have you been here? I didn't even notice your arrival. Uh, we meet again and it seems you caught me. Well, talking to myself. Look at that. There's one here too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Ah, oh, sweet joy. How glorious to sing this song in front of the real monument. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials that Champion Mavali overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Wind alley soars the land of cloud. Mado champion swift and proud. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials monuments show. One. Shoot the flame, dragon's horn. Two, race down a peak's ring adorn. Three, shoot four targets to win. Champion, the trials begin. So, did it move you? By asking around about the champions of each region, I'm starting to piece together the key verses of the song. The confidence it must have taken to master a divine beast. How inspiring. My teacher's dream is now mine to fulfill. An unfinished song weighs heavily on a bard's soul. I won't allow it. But in order to see his dream to fruition, I must learn about the champions of long ago. Thankfully, Tiba and the Rito Village elder Kanali told me some wonderful stories about the Rito champion. Yet this unfinished song still pulls at my heart. And so my hometown is but a stopping point on this journey of mine. All right, EX Champion Rivali song main quest started. All right, so of course, as always, you can look at all of these pictures here and it can tell you where on the map to go, but I'm going to show you exactly where to go. So the first stop on our journey here is we are going to come right down here between Tabantha Hills and the Upland Lindor right down here and right by Tanagar Canyon. All right, I will meet you there. All right, here we are. You should see a Rito bird and a campfire. Go talk to him. This is Mosley. Hmm, a traveler. What a pleasant surprise. Well, what brings you here? Came here because the elder tasked me with keeping watch of the dragon that appears around here. It's been appearing quite frequently these days. Everyone's worried it's going to cause trouble for the village. After the incident with Mado, I can't blame them for worrying. So far, everything seems fine. However, just to be safe, I'll be scooping things out for a while yet. Come to think of it, the dragon always flies through this valley at night. When it does, its horns light up. There's something about that light that's truly captivating. All right, you heard the man. Sit till night. All right, you can see he's standing up here. We're just going to kind of go hang out with him here. Um, we do have to wait a little bit, and luckily he is here this time because this dragon really is not all that reliable, and sometimes he doesn't show up, but I think that his reliability is a little bit better during this task. But either way, once he gets closer, you'll see his horn light up. And I'm going to go ahead and leave a card up here right now on farming all three dragons, which of course includes Dinral right here. And um, hopefully that helps you out a little bit. You try to get some dragon parts for whatever your dragon part needs are. So anywho, so he's getting a little bit closer and you will notice the horn looks different than it normally does. Okay, his horn is glowing. So at any point in time, you can go ahead and start going towards him. Just make sure that when you get up here, 
that you actually shoot him in the horn. So make sure that you get close enough, but don't get so close that you hurt yourself. There we go. It's that simple, boys and girls. And then we get a shrine. And of course, he does leave. I think you end up getting a scale, even though you actually got a horn. But I'm going to wait to go down there because I can go ahead and get this uh, shrine activated. And then I'll have a way back up here. So, just don't go inside yet. Activate it. Alright, so I'm going to go grab my piece. And then I will meet you back here. All right, let's go ahead and get started with Shira Gomar Shrine. Aim for stillness. So the first thing I'm going to do is blow up this wall with a bomb arrow. You can do that, of course, however you want. You can put a bomb in the wind so that way it gets up there and then you can ignite it. But I just like to use bomb arrows. Just because I think it's fun. You can also put your brown bomb in here. Just like that. Just another way to do it. But I still like shooting it with the bomb arrow. And then we're just going to follow the wind back up here. Alright, so just follow the wind. And this, this rotating platform, you can see it blows wind up there. There's a uh, chest up there so I want to also go ahead and get that ready but I'm gonna come down here and when it comes back I'm gonna let the wind blow me up there just like this just be careful if you do end up falling just try to make your way back over there and you'll get Blown back up. Totally worth it for 10 arrows. And you know, we just like to complete things, so. Now, what I want to do here is once my stasis is fixed, there we go, right before the wind gets here, just like that, now I'm going to send myself up here, and there we go. Okay, so now we want to do the same thing here. Let the wind carry you up. Let's check. Yep, we have the chest. We've got the sh uh, symbol next to the name, so we know we're good. Make sure you get yourself up high enough, and let's go check out. Alright, so the next place that we want to go is up here, not quite top of Hebra Peak, but just right down here. Alright, I will meet you there. Alright, so we are right here in the Hebra Mountains, and we it's going to be very similar to a Brosa song when we use the Sand Seal, except we're going to Shield Surf. So just follow the light. And just like that, boys and girls, here's a shrine. This is Kaya Toza Shrine. Go inside.
Master the orb. All right. First thing I want to do is come down here. And I'm going to use my Cryonis to create a bridge. Because this is where the orb is going to be coming. And I want to make sure that the orb has no problem making it over. So now I want to go all the way to the top. You can see there's a chest up there. That's the first thing we're going to go for. We're going to use Cryonis up here as well. One block's going to get us up on top of this thing. And then we're going to do it again to lift us up. And then we're going to climb the ladder and make a right. Go up the stairs. Make another right and go up the stairs again. Get your chest, and it is a falcon bow, a highly refined Rito made bow created by a master Rito craftsman. Rito warriors favor it for its superior rate of fire, which helps them excel even farther at aerial combat. It happens to be my favorite, too. So, I want to just come on down here because there are some adjustments that we need to make to allow this orb to get down to its little orb hole. So, I'm going to scooch these together. And then I'm going to create a bridge here. And then this switch here operates this conveyor belt. Switching it to go the right way so that the ball doesn't go backwards. And while we wait for the ball, I like to get my stasis trained on this teeter-totter down here so that way it doesn't get moved. And here it comes. Once it gets off the conveyor belt, that's when I like to leave the button and press my stasis. There we go. And now I'm just going to come down here. And if everything is set up properly, I should be able to just hit this switch, causing this to fly over there. Beautiful. We take a look, see at the map, the chest is next to the shrine name. We know we've got all of them. So we can go ahead and just check out. All right, the next place that we want to go is right inside of the flight range. And if you have the Sha Warbo shrine, Unlocked, you can go ahead and teleport there or go from Rito, whichever you want. I'll meet you there. All right, so as you can see, as I showed already, we are at the light range. And let's come on up here just like we did the first time with the Divine Beasts. Now, once we get up here, you can see there is another swallow bow here if you don't have one already. If you need to cook stamina food, you can. Um, but basically, we want to hit four targets without pulling our paraglider back out. So it's important that you use a bow with great aim. So I just went ahead and gave myself some extra stamina food. Got a couple yellow rings there. There is a cooking pot back there. Um, use Endura shrooms, Endura carrots, anything like that is going to give you the yellow ring stamina. So good luck. There we go. Look, I didn't even need it all. So be careful when dropping down here because the wind is going to keep picking you back up. If you feel safer, just go ahead and drop in the water. But this is Noe Raji Shrine. No, no Raji Shrine? Something like that. Let's just go inside.
The four winds. So to activate the wind here, you've got to shoot this switch and go on up. And this one's actually really fun. I really like doing this one. Each one of these sides has a switch that you need to figure out how to get to. Some of them, they're being blocked by a wall or by something else. And you've just got to be able to get in there and get that switch. And it's going to activate another wind tunnel because we need to use that to get us all the way up to the top. So you just go around to each side and there's all these wind tunnels here to help you out. And bring you higher or lower depending on which direction that you need to go. See that one's in there. I don't know why that's so hard to see though. But there's also, there's plenty of places to land. Um, this one, I'm going inside. And you turn around, you see the switch there. And that activates another one. Um, and if you run out of stamina like I just did, just get yourself safely down to here and let it fill back up. And then go back out and then just keep looking at each side until you figure out what you need. This one, we've got to wait for the wind to open it up. So I'm going to stay right here. And there we go. Shoot that out. And that one's done. Activates another wind tunnel. Be careful. All right, let's go around and see. That one's done. That one still is right there. That one's done now. Activates another wind tunnel. All right, I need to get to a place of rest. There we go. Okay, so got that. Got that one. Let's see, did we get them all? That one's good, yeah. Let's see. Alright, so we've just got to find the beginning now. I think we are good. And then we just follow these all the way up. Start running low on stamina, let it refill. All right, so there is still one more chest in here if you are interested. It is right there, but we're going to go around this way. And keep turning around, and on this side is a way in. Go up to the chest. Shield of the Mind's Eye. A small Sheikah made shield. Its design is intended to decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. Very nice. Now we can see we do have all of the chest. Yippee Kai Yak. Let's figure out how to get back. Here we are. Let it take you higher. And let's go check out. Alright, so the next thing they want us to do is to go to the Divine Beast Vamado. So I will see you there. Alright, and as usual, most of what we do right now does not matter because we are going to be told what we can wear and what we can fight with. But one thing we can do is eat an attack up food. It won't beat the game for you, but it'll certainly help. Fine Beast Vomito.
To the one who approaches this divine beast in the name Gaia Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Mado's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find the trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memory. The energy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is the trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Wind Blight Ganon. So, just like in any other Wind Blight Ganon fight, I like to hide behind here while I let him shoot at me. But you see, they give us 100 arrows and 5 bomb arrows. Whoops. And only one little feathered edge sword. So, we will be mostly using these guys. And don't forget that we do have this power here. And, of course, the power of Stasis. And we got up before I could even do anything. Go just like that. Perhaps meeting you here was no coincidence. This is a perfect spot for you to get lost in your thoughts, as well as a perfect spot for me to write a song. Ah, uh, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Rivali has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast Va Mado, which Rivali himself mastered. I've written a song and try to capture the essence of Champion Rivali. Recall Mado's Champion of Flights. Before he fell to his fateful plight, Rivali's feet was a wonder to see. So the princess made her plea. All right, I will leave you to the cutscene. Hmm, it seems the Rito Champion was not one to share his feelings. So, what do you think of the Champion Rivali song? 
By writing a song that highlights the hidden feelings of Champlain Ravali, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. I feel much more confident that I am doing those missing lyrics justice. I truly never imagined you would do so well. Regardless, Rivali's Gale should be more efficient than ever. As you are, I guess it's theoretically possible for you to best Ganon. Alright, it now requires less time to recharge Rivali's Gale. Champion Rivali's song complete. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for going on that adventure with me. I had fun. Let's do it again sometime. KK Jinx, over and out. And with that, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell right in the face with your fist. Thanks for watching.